Welcome to the Java EE tutorial. This video will be about the usage of Maven in combination with a Java EE project. The video will be divided into two parts. Firstly, I will show you how to create a Java EE Maven project from scratch, as well as converting an existing project into a Maven project. The second part will be about automatic deployment with Maven, as well as deploying resources on a Glassfish server. Let's jump right into it. First, you need to make sure that you have installed M2E, which is an Eclipse plugin for Maven. It's included in the basic Eclipse EE package, but if it's missing, you can also install it by searching the Eclipse marketplace. To create a new Java EE project with Maven, you choose File, New, Other, then you search for Maven and choose Maven Project pressing next. You can choose a different workspace location but we use the default one. Pressing next and searching for the archetype web app and we find the second one here which is called Maven Archetype Web App. We press next and now we can choose our group and artifact ID. If you have some experience with Maven already you can enter your default values here. We will just uh, use com.youtube which is also used as our package name and this will be called maven test which is our project name later on. We press finish down here some configs are taken and you already see the maven project was created. You see some very small m at the left top corner of the folder icon and if you open it up you see in comparison to the old one it's nearly the same. There's just one new folder which is called deployed resources and this folder contains the web app folder. The web app folder is the old web content folder so in it in here is an index.jsp and the web in folder containing a web.xml as well there was cr uh, as well a pom is created which contains the information of packing a war file if you now look at Java resources, you see there is only a source main resources folder. So what is missing is the source folder and the source folder is down here but it contains a source main web app and resources folder. You press right new folder and add a Java folder. It will be automatically added to Java resources at the top and this is your source folder where you can now add packages and beans, EJBs, whatever you want. Sometimes this folder isn't added automatically when you create the folder down here then you have to right click on your project use Maven and then click update project pressing OK and the project is updated here down right you see the status and then the folder should be added to your Java resources. If you are using JPA in a Maven project, uh, you will not place your JPA persistence file in the source main Java folder. You will just put it into the source main resources folder because this folder is also added to the class path and therefore you can put all your resources in there. Now where we created a Maven project from scratch, we will now convert our first app project to a Maven project. We do this by right clicking on the project using configure and then convert to Maven. Again we have to enter a group ID and the project name will be as it is. We press finish and the project is already converted to a Maven project which you can see on the small M in the left top corner but the folder structure is the old one so it's possible to work with the standard Eclipse folder structure but it's recommended to change your folder structure to the standard Maven form. To do that you uh, delete this row where it's called source directory. This tells Maven to use the source folder as the source directory which we will change if we press this and update our project. You see our Java resources folder is now empty. It's empty because we have no subfolders in our source folder so we will add a folder called main and again a subfolder called Java. We update the project again and now we got our source main folder right here. We will now move our 
data bean and we find it in the same default package as before. Still our deployed resources folder contains a folder called web content. In a standard Maven project, as you see below here, it's called web app. We need to remove the mapping which is done here where the war source directory is defined as web content and you can just remove the wall plugin. Again, updating the project and you see our deployed resources is now empty. It's automatically added a web fo app folder which is empty and our web content folder is still down here. We can now copy those files into our web app folder and remove the web content folder. Now our project is converted to a standard Maven project. You can remove the build folder here because the build folder is old from the Eclipse one. Maven is using the target folder uh, to save the compiled class file. To deploy this app, it's already synchronized down here. I will remove it again, add our first app and run the site, run this on the server which opens up our index.xhtml and it's working. You are now able to build a WAR file directly from your Maven by pressing run as, choosing the Maven build. Now you need to define some goals where I will define clean which will just clean our target folder so there will be no old files in there and then we use package which is all we need to do. We click apply and run. Now down here it starts to compile our project as a WAR file and there happens an error. This is because we need to add a dependency. Maven does not know the classfish runtime so we need to provide this. We do this by adding the dependencies and adding the dependency called uh, Java X, Java EE RPE version 6.0. If you are working with the Java EE 7, you would write the 7 here. And it's very important to use the scope provided. This uh, means this library will not be included into the WAR file, but it will be a while label for the build time. We save it and run the first app, Maven build again, and the build was successfully. In the next tutorial, we w I will show you how you can directly deploy your WAR file on the server with Maven after it was compiled. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to write a comment.